for today's video, I have my apartment tour. I did an apartment tour not that long ago, but my house really wasn't decorated the way I wanted it to be. And now I redecorated my house and I'm really happy with how it turned out, so I feel like it's time to share an updated apartment tour with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I really want to say thank you guys so much for 2.5k. I remember when I hit a thousand subscribers, I was so happy. I can't believe we're already halfway to 3,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing and just like all your positive feedback on my videos. It seriously means so much to me and I just love you guys so much. So thank you for that. I really hope that you guys enjoy watching this video and without further ado, let's get into my apartment tour. We're gonna start out by our front door area. So this is the one thing in my house that isn't really done yet. I really wanna do a whole collage wall here and make it look super cute. But for now, this is what we have. We have this super cute little welcome sign. This is from Big Lots. And under that is our hook where we just keep our keys and I have some purses down here. So when you first walk in the front door, you pretty much have a view of the kitchen. We have this really cute shelf. I built this all by myself. This shelf is from Big Lots. I don't remember how much it is, but I do think they still have it. So if they do, I'll link it below. At the top of our bookshelf, I have this little picture hanger I don't have any pictures on there now but I need to put some on there um, and then on the first shelf here we have two books we have the Joanna Gaines cookbook and then just like this farmhousey book it's super cute this is a mango candle that I got at the Target dollar section I just thought that the color of it was very like springy we have an L for our last name which is Lombardo then next to that we have this really cute clock and below that shelf is this really adorable plant I had to buy this when I saw it because I thought it was like the cutest thing ever it's from Big Lots and there's like these cute mason jars in there it just really reminded me of spring when I saw it so I had to get it and then I have this little mister next to that plant and then we have another candle and on the very bottom shelf here we have a wicker basket and next to that I have this white box that's from Target I have a cute little journal and then this wooden box has cards in it like playing cards okay so looking this way is our kitchen and I just love our kitchen it's tiny, but it's just so cozy and cute, and we spend a lot of time in it. We don't have a dining room table, so we just use our bar stools whenever we're eating. These four bar stools are from Ikea. When I first got them, they were a bit taller, so my dad trimmed down the legs for me to make them fit. He did a really good job, and these chairs are super comfortable. I forget the name of them. Ikea always has weird names, but if I could find them, I'll leave a link below. So over here, these green leaves try to show you guys as best as i can i diy'd that actually i got all the strands of leaves at dollar tree so it was really cheap and i pretty much just tied them all together and hung them from the ceiling i always feel like adding greenery in a space makes the space look really nice so i like that there and under that we have this really cute wicker basket i think it was only like 10 bucks at ross so that's cute I always keep candles like everywhere in our house. You guys will probably see that throughout this video. But this one is the hazelnut cream candle from Walmart and we're almost out of it. So I'm gonna have to get another one of those. And next to that we have our toaster. Then we have our knives and this little um, gray, it's like a ceramic bin type of thing. This is from Big Lots. A lot of my stuff that I have guys is from Big Lots. I just love that store and it's really affordable. So <laughs> we get a lot of our decor there. But so that's that little area. I guess I'll show you guys in here. We pretty much just keep our snacks. It's a little messy right now. Um, I keep all of my Arbonne shake stuff here. So I have my chocolate protein powder, vanilla protein, fiber boost, and chia seeds, and my peppermint oil. And then we just have some snacks in our cabinets. But if you guys want to see a full on like in-depth kitchen tour of all the drawers and cabinets and our fridge and stuff then let me know by either giving this video a thumbs up or leaving a comment below above our kitchen sink is this really adorable sign it says be kind to one another 
And that's pretty much like my life motto. I always say to be kind. So when I saw that, I had to get it. Looking down this way, I have this pink kind of boho-ish rug. As you guys can see, we don't have an oven. We have this flat stove top, which is really, really nice. We love using this. So what we did was we decided to get this really large convention oven. I think that's what it's called, conviction oven, convention oven, something like that. But it's really a good size. I mean, we could fit a big pizza in there. So yeah, this is what we use to bake. We have our pans up here. And next to that, we have our air fryer, which this thing's a lifesaver. My mom got Danny this air fryer for Christmas and we use it all the time. And lastly for the kitchen is just our fridge. Above our fridge, I just have this basket and it's filled with all of my vitamins. Like literally there's so many vitamins in here, guys. And on the side of our fridge here, we have a whiteboard and a little like planner thing. To the right of the kitchen, we have our coffee bar and a few other things. But before I go and show you guys all that, we're gonna go over to my office. Okay, walking over to my office. Um, this wall's pretty boring. It just has our thermostat on it. But something I do wanna say is that I love the columns that we have in our house. It just makes it feel like it has a little more character. And this column being here creates kind of like a little hallway into the office and the living room. I spend a lot of my time in my office for anyone who doesn't know, I'm a photographer, so I spend a lot of time sitting at my desk editing, and so I wanted to make this space feel comfortable and cozy, but still efficient for what I need to be doing. I guess I'll start with this wall. So this cubby thing actually comes in handy a lot. Um, it was from Walmart, and I think it was only like $35, which is super cheap, and the little baskets in them I don't even remember how much they were, but they're also from Walmart. I'm not gonna go through these things, but I'll show you guys what's here. So in this one, I just keep all of my printer paper so that it's easily accessible. And right above that, I have these, I think they're like manila folders, except I got the brown ones cause I'm just picky like that. I wanted these to be easily like reachable because every time I have a new client that I'm working with, I put like folders up here. I need to reach these really often so I can create my like client folders. Next to the folders I have this really adorable wicker basket that I thrifted and I just keep some camera equipment and stuff in there. Nothing really too special. In this little cubby I have this white box and it's just filled with all of my extra pens and sharpies, things like that. I just mentioned what this whole thing is, basically just every time I have a new client I put their folder there and with all of the information that I need for their photo shoot and contracts, stuff like that goes in there. Um, and then in this binder I have organized by months from this year, um, so like the past months that have gone by I just have my client like packets and information in there. This folder just has some personal documents. And next to these binders, I have my printer. I had to get a white printer because white is like my favorite color. So this white printer is the HP DeskJet 2652. I think that's the name of it. I don't know a lot about printers, guys, but it's just a standard printer and does the job. It's from Walmart. On top of my printer is my iPad. Above my cubby thing, I have these cute two pictures, a clock, which I need to put batteries in it. I have had that clock for almost a year now and still have not put batteries in it. Next to the clock, I got this at Home Goods, and it's just like a file organizer holder thing. And next to that, we have that cute calendar. Okay, so moving on to my actual desk area. The lighting's gonna be a little weird because I have the window open. Maybe I should shut it. Okay, I shut the blinds a little bit, so hopefully the lighting's okay. But above my desk, around the whole window, I put these lights up. I think that white lights are so cozy. Like I mentioned, I'm in my office a lot. So, especially when I'm editing at night, I have my music going, I always have my candles lit. It's just like chill vibes, you know? Love that. On my desk, I have a desk lamp, 
my computer. This is like a little weekly planner thing. And then my tape and my stapler. My desk is from Big Lots. It was only, uh, I can't remember how much it is, but they still have it and it's really cute. So on the other side of my desk is the not as cute part. I try to keep it as organized as we can, but this is basically like our little storage area. We don't have a storage closet in our apartment, so we keep all of our holiday boxes or winter clothes or whatever things like that that we want stored away we keep under the stairs behind this white thing it's pretty packed in there um so that's why some of this stuff is left out and i always keep our vacuum out over here because my biggest pet peeve is dirty floors i hate walking on a dirty floor so i'm constantly vacuuming and guys look at how freaking cute this is I know this is an apartment tour video, but I just have to show you this real quick. It's from Target, it was only $40, and it says it fits three adults, and it's a, literally a blow up pool. Like, I'm so excited to use this. Starting with the couch, this couch is from Big Lots. Um, when I first got my apartment, I really, really, really wanted to have a large couch, a big like sectional couch so that when we have family or friends over, I just want everybody to be really comfortable. So that's why I decided to go with such a big couch. This throw blanket my mom got me as a Christmas present. It's so cute. I just love the color of it. It goes really well with our house. So next to our throw blanket, Danny got us these two huge comfortable pillows from Home Goods. They're the ones that have like feather feathers in them, so they're really really comfortable. We have this other like beige taupey colored pillow that has sparkles, and then we have a white fuzzy pillow from Forever 21. I like to keep our coffee table pretty like cleared in case we want to eat in the living room or whatever. So all I have are coasters, a candle, and our TV remote. Here's our TV stand. So once again, it's pretty simple. Um, I have this plant. Obviously, we just have our TV, our Blu-ray player. Um, I have this photo of Danny and I. In this corner, we have our Wii and just a little basket. And then over here, we have, this is a charger for like a phone. And I wanted to have that out here in case we have family or friends over. Their phones are dying, they could just put it right there. And then next to that is this really, really cute basket that my aunt got me. She also got me this pretty throw blanket. The basket looks kind of small on camera, but in real life, it's pretty big. So I have this basket literally filled to the top, as you can see with blankets. Okay, so off to the side of the basket is this wall. And I have this ginormous mirror. I feel like it just really opens up the whole space and makes it feel bigger. Under the mirror, we have this little shelf. I still have yet to put pictures in our wedding album. I really need to do that soon. Next to that is this really cute little, just like a farmhouse bird. What do you call these? Knickknacks or something like that? And then we just have this little plant. I really wanted to get a lamp for our living room um, for when we don't want to have like the big light on but still want some light. Sometimes I edit in the living room and I don't want it to be really bright if it's nighttime. So I got this lamp. It's a, I think it's called a gooseneck lamp or something like that. So this is from Walmart. It was really cheap. I think it was only like $16 or something like that. And it's like the perfect little light for our living room. So that's that. And lastly for the living room is this table. And obviously I didn't want to put it here because if you're walking in the living room, it would just be in the way. Um, so I just put it there. I put this big plant that I thrifted on this table. You guys will tell throughout this video too that I really love plants. I feel like they just make a space feel cozier. So that's where that is and then we just have another photo album and yes that one is actually filled up with pictures <laughs> here's one more overview of the office and the living room and now we're gonna head to the little hallway over there by the kitchen so i showed you guys the kitchen already off to the side of the kitchen is our coffee bar. I constantly change our coffee bar depending on like the season that it is. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I decorated decorated it 
for fall. I've decorated our coffee bar for Christmas. I always change it. Right now, it's just very plain and clean. I wanted to keep it pretty simple right now for the springtime. I guess I'll start with this shelf. This shelf is from Marshalls, and it's just like a shelf with three little hooks. So it kind of worked out perfectly for our coffee bar. On the top shelf, I have two little baskets. These are actually from Michael's. We use them in our wedding, but I keep my Arbon fist sticks in here. Below that shelf, we have a little plant. You guys can tell I love my plants. Um, this was a basket that was gifted to us from my brother and sister-in-law. So we keep our little K cups in there. So since we didn't have much counter space left in our kitchen, we have our microwave down on the shelf, which it's right next to the kitchen. So it's not like it's a far walk or anything. And in these two bins, we have coffee mugs in this one. And in this one, I keep our teas, hot chocolate, um, my Tivana kit thing just random stuff like that's in there. If you turn and look on this wall right here, in this door is our bedroom, which I'm gonna save that for a whole bedroom tour video. But if you guys really wanna see like a sneak peek of our room, then just go watch my morning routine video cause I show our room in that video. Anyways, okay, over here, we have our Ikea closets. These things come so in handy for us. Off to the side of the coffee bar, we have our bathroom. On this side, obviously, is just, just our shower. For our bathroom, I just wanted to keep it pretty like clean and simple. So I just went with browns and whites. So over here, we have this wooden picture. It says he fills my life with good things. Below that is our vanity. I got this plant a long time ago. I don't even remember where it's from, but I'm sure it's from like Home Goods or Marshalls. I'm constantly obviously washing my hands and right after I wash my hands, I have to put lotion on or else my hands just feel really dry. So I wanted to get a soap dispenser that had this thing so that it just looks like neater. So I got this one at Walmart. I think it was like $20, but it's really cute. It's kind of like vintagey looking, but I really like the way the pump looks. Um, over here is the toilet and then we have this above the toilet shelf thing. In my very first apartment tour when I didn't have any decorations up yet, um, I was getting a lot of comments asking where this shelf was from and it's actually from Walmart. I think it was pretty inexpensive too. So that's where it's from. Um, on the bottom shelf, we just have this little heart. It says blessed. Then we have this linen spray, which I use it honestly just to spray around our house because it smells so good. It's citrusy scent. It smells really good. It smells like oranges. On the last shelf, we have this plant, um, a picture of Danny and I. I keep our Q-tips in here and I always just refill it. And then we have that little mirror and it like flips and it like goes to a magnifying side also yeah guys that's pretty much the full apartment tour if you guys enjoyed watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys